our sixth sensory kit video. We hope you're enjoying them. This week we're going to be making relief prints and stamps. This week the kits were created by Amy and we wanted to give her a big thank you. These kits are super cool. Hi everyone, my name is Amy Childress and I am a MFA candidate at the University of Iowa Center for the Book. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your own stamps. Um, that will be used to decorate cards or basically anything you want to decorate with. Um, some examples of patterns from handmade stamps include these, some layering work. Okay, so to get started, you should have all received a kit from the Antelope Blending Library that looks like this. And inside it, you will see that you have some masking tape, um, two pieces of adhesive back foam, and you should, will also get a piece of cardboard, different colors of ink pads, three wooden styluses. Before we start, you will also need a pair of scissors. So we are going to start with our cardboard and we're going to cut out a piece of cardboard and this is the back of your stamp. Um, so basically you want to cut out a piece as big as you want for your stamp. So it could be this big, it could be this big, um, just any size you want. And then we are going to take our piece of foam and I like to cut out a size first. But you could also um, cut out the shape of your um, the shape of your stamp if you want. So I am gonna just cut out a small square to start off with, so I can work with it easier. So here's my square, and I like to do patterns with my stamp so I can show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna take one side. So this is what I cut out. And I'm going to peel off the back and I'm going to stick it on to the back of my stamp. So that's one thing. And then I'm going to just do some sh different shapes for my stamp. And again, peeling off the back and sticking that. And you could even do really tiny shapes. So, there's a little tiny shape. Like that. And I'm just gonna keep adding as much as I want. Um, you could cut out a shape of an animal. You could cut out like a heart or you can just cut out anything, any shape that you want. So, here is my stamp. Next, I'm gonna take my stylus. And this is a relief printing technique. So basically, everything that we push into our stamp, or the foam, we won't see the color of the ink. Um, so whatever you don't wanna see, or you want to be the same color as your piece of paper, um, you're gonna cut into it. So, I can show you. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna do some dots here. So there is my stamp. And then I'm gonna take a piece of paper, or a piece of tape, and tear off, probably about, just like about this much. And then I'm gonna fold half of it in half. So, it's not perfect, but so him folding half of it in half, so these are not folded together. And then I'm gonna take the back of my foam, and I'm gonna stick those sticky parts right there and that is gonna be my handle. And that way, when I stick, when I do my, um, when I do my stamp making, I won't get my fingers all messy with ink. And that is how you make your own stamp. Now that we've learned how to make our own stamps, I'm gonna show you how to use them. So, I'm gonna take my stamp, and I'm gonna take a piece of paper, 
or any surface that you want to stamp on. Um, today I'm doing going to do two different colors just so you can see the difference. Um, and this is a cardstock, so I could use this for a greeting card to send to a family member or a friend, or I could also use it as a poster. Okay, so I'm going to take some ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I'm doing this for the camera, but I find it easier to put your, your stamp pad down and then ink directly on top of it. And that way, if your stamp is larger than your ink pad, um, that you'll get enough ink on all of the foam. Okay, so I have my, my stamp, and now I'm going to stamp this piece of paper. So here is my stamp, and as you can see, the places that I carved into or did a relief carving into um, are the same color as my paper. So I'm going to do that one more time on the colored paper, and I'm going to do a different color. And a fun thing you can do is stamp two different colors, kind of go half and half on your ink, on your stamp. So I'm going to do gold and purple. Okay, so this is what my stamp looks like. And then here it is on my piece of paper. And that's how you stamp on two surfaces. And um, as I showed you in some previous and in the earlier part of the video you can see how this person took the same stamp with different colors and made a lot of layers and this is a really fun way to make a background to a card and you could write on it or a poster um this person also did a pattern for theirs and this for them was the cover of a little book. And then here is an another example that I showed at the beginning, but you can see just how, um, see that relief printing there. And I'll turn it around so you can see it. So yeah, um, so this is a really fun way to make shapes or, and you can get really, um, specific this is you can see a dolphin that someone made um, so you can just have a little fun and cut a bunch of stuff out and have fun stamping thanks Amy that was a super cool project and we're gonna show you what we made and we'll give you a couple tips so these are some of the stamps that we made and these are how they turned out It looks super cool. So here are some tips that you might find helpful when you're making your stamps. So if you want to write letters onto yours like Lily did on hers, you're going to have to write the word backwards and flip the letters around. That way it turns up the right way when you print it. Um, another tip is that you can make your shape a circle and then you can draw inside of the circle to, if you want to have a drawing, which will make it turn out like that. Cool. And the little wooden stylus that you get, you can use the pointy end to draw on things, or you can use the circle on the other end to create little dots. So on this one, we make, my mom made ladybugs and used those for the polka dots. Get creative, you can make cards for your friends or family, and just have fun. We hope you like this craft. See ya! Bye!